Hey guys, I'm Spencer from Pixel and Bracket. I'm rearranging the space, you might be able to tell the giant mattress in the background, but I'm still making tutorials. We're gonna learn how to draw the Batman symbol in Adobe Illustrator. Alright, so this is the version of the logo that, or the symbol that we're gonna be drawing. I say draw because we're gonna be predominantly using the pen tool, so it's almost like drawing uh, rather than creating it out of shapes and such. Uh, let's get started. So I'm gonna open up a new document. Okay, 1920 by 1080, and RGB color mode is fine. I'm gonna hit create. So we've got our new artboard open. We're gonna be using the pen tool for the majority of this tutorial, as well as the direct selection tool. And I'm not gonna go off of any guides or anything. We're just gonna draw this thing and I'm gonna have mistakes in it. I'm gonna show you how to fix them as you draw to uh, better manipulate your anchor points and your handles and everything with the pen tool, the anchor point tool, the direct selection tool, as well as like super nudging and with your shift and arrow keys and stuff like that. Uh, let's grab the pen tool. The shortcut key for the pen tool is P. It's over here in the toolbar. And let's make a point. Actually, no. First thing I want to do is come up here and make sure my stroke and fill are selected the way I want them to be. So my fill, I want to be at none. And my stroke, let's make it black. And then uh, for the sake of this tutorial, let's do three points. Okay. So I've got smart guides turned on. These are going to be helpful. So go ahead and go to view down to smart guides it's command u or control u on a pc and make sure that's check marked and you're going to see all these pink lines and stuff show up they're very helpful when you're trying to line things up so let's start down here i'm going to click and drag which is going to allow this first point to begin to create a curve the direction that i'm dragging is the direction that curve is going to go and the farther i drag out this handle the more influence that handle has on the curve That'll make more sense in a second, but this tutorial will be good for you guys if you are kind of new to the pen tool or still trying to figure it out. All right, so I'm gonna click and drag, and I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna go straight up and down. I'm gonna kind of go out this way, right? I wanna build this uh, the wing to the left here. So let's go, oh, about this far, and we'll let go. Now this next one, and you might see this if you're updated fully with like CC. I don't know which version shows this like predictive curve, but uh, if you do see it, it's pretty helpful to see kind of how that curve is gonna go. We're gonna affect it with this next point as well. Um, but if you don't see it, that's okay. Just follow along anyway. So I'm gonna come out here a little ways and then we'll click and drag in the direction that we want that curve to go. So like my next curve is gonna go out to the left. So I'm gonna drag to the left and that's gonna allow me to just sort of warp and create the curve that I want on that original line. So that looks about right. And don't worry about the fact that this is pointing way out this way. We will change that here in a second because you can see that my next point's gonna go up here but that's not the curve I want. I'm gonna create like another curve like this, uh, not one looping back this way. So we need to change this handle. It's influencing the curve to go this way. Uh, we need to point it in the direction we want it to go. So I'm gonna hold Option, which is my anchor point tool, also Alt on a PC. I'm gonna click on that handle and drag it up this way. So I want it to kind of point out in this direction. I'm gonna let go. And then now you see that this predictive angle is a little bit more of the curve that we want, or predictive line, whatever you want to call that. I'm gonna click up here about halfway uh, as far as the width of this first one. Let's do about the same height. So I'm gonna click and drag again and sort of create that curve that I want between these two handles. You know, I might want this to be a little bit more influenced there, and I can go back to this handle and readjust it by holding Option or Alt. And I can just keep going back and forth between these handles to adjust and create the curve that I want. It looks about right. Now for this one, I've sort of lost my other handle here. It's still there, it's just not showing with my pen tool. So I'm gonna go grab the direct select tool and click on that point. And now both of those anchor points are showing up. And then I'm gonna click the shortcut key for the pen tool now, which is P. And I'm gonna switch over to that and then hold option again and I'm gonna grab a hold of that handle and I'm gonna actually get rid of it and pull it back to the point and then let go. From there, we need to reselect this anchor point with our pen tool. You'll notice the little slash line underneath our pen tool. That means we're gonna continue on that path because right now we don't have any uh, points selected for it to know like where to draw from. Uh, so we're gonna click on that and now I can uh, go out from there and notice there's no curve because we got rid of that anchor point but that's okay because we're gonna go directly straight across all the way till we meet our original point. Uh, straight across, these smart guides are helping us and we're gonna click right there 
and then we're gonna click down here to close up our, our entire path. And there's a little circle that pops up around the pin tool icon, and that means we're closing that path. That's exactly what we wanna do. So this is sort of like that first wing of our uh, Batman symbol. And up here, we're gonna be creating a couple more points and we're gonna create the shoulder, the neck, and then like the ears and like half the head. I'm gonna add a point about halfway between this line segment here. And this is just kind of like guess and check a little bit. So I'm gonna add a point there. And then what do we want? So that's gonna be this top point. We need to come down to the neck. So we'll add a point, oh, I don't know, about halfway uh, between these. And then uh, that neck needs to come up to a point uh, for the ear. So we'll add a point just a little bit to the side of that. And then we'll add another point for the ear to kind of come back down. So it's going to be shoom, and then it's going to come, it's going to uh, go up to this point and then come back down. And then we've got this point for the uh, rest of the head there. Now we're going to really get into uh, affecting these points with the direct selection tool. So I'm going to hit A to select the direct selection tool. And I'm going to zoom in because we are way zoomed out. So I'm just going to click on this path anywhere, not on a point, just on the path. And now I, ha I can see all of my anchor points here. The first one I wanna do is we'll grab this anchor point and then we'll hold shift to grab this anchor point as well. And maybe we'll hold shift and grab this one. And we're gonna bring all of these down because remember this is like the top of the ear so I'm gonna leave that up there. And as we drag, I'm just gonna click on one of these points and drag downward and then hold shift to keep it in line. As we drag down, you'll see we're starting to create that point. I'm going to go down about, oh, we're going to end up going down halfway with, with the shoulder. So I'm going to go up a little bit higher than that with the head. And then now that I have that all set up, we're going to click and drag. You can click and drag to select a point or click and drag to select multiple points as well. So I'm going to click and drag just to easily select this point. And we're going to bring him down even further to about halfway um, between the, the line segment here as far as the height goes. So there we go, that's a very rough outline. You can really start to see how half of this thing is coming together. So now I want to create some curves here, right? I want this shoulder to have an actual curve to it. So I need to select this shape first. I'm gonna use V to get my uh, selection tool and just click on my path anywhere. And then I'm gonna hit P for the uh, pin tool. And I'm gonna hold option once again and click and drag on this anchor point to begin to create curves. And I'm gonna hold shift to kind of lock that in. And I do not care about the right side of this curve right now. I know it's gonna be messed up. I'm really looking at the left side and I wanna create kind of that shoulder that goes into the neck there. So I'm gonna let go about there. That, that looks like a pretty decent curve. It totally screwed up over here, but that's okay. We just hold option again and bring this handle right back. And we could, we could actually bring it right out to the side of that just to give a little bit of a curve into this uh, ear shape here. I don't, is it an ear? I don't know what this thing is. All right, so I'm gonna switch to my direct selection tool with the shortcut key A. I'm gonna grab this top point. I'm gonna hold shift and I'm gonna hit the down arrow. That's gonna drop it below. It's gonna uh, shift it by 10 pixels or times 10, whatever your default pixel is for the nudge tools. I call this like a super nudge. I'm actually gonna do it twice, I think. And from there, I'm gonna then bring down this point. Uh, one super nudge. Um, that looks good. Uh, you know what though? This head shape here is gonna be so wide. I think I'm gonna select all of these points of the ear. So these three points. And now I'm gonna click and drag while holding shift over to the right. And that's gonna create a bigger like shoulder area and then a smaller um, head area here. It just takes these three points and shifts them on that line. So now I actually want to maybe pull this handle out a little bit on this anchor point. And then maybe we'll bring this back a little bit to create a sort of a point here, ear there. And next, let's bring this guy down just a touch. We're gonna keep him above that path, but I feel like he was up a little too high. And I'm gonna grab the pin tool again, shortcut key P once again. And then my hold option and click and drag on this anchor point. And I'm also holding shift to keep it in line and I'm just gonna drag it out a little bit. We're gonna create a bit of a rounded shape for that head. Hold option on this handle, I'm gonna get rid of it. Okay, you guys, that was a lot of explanation. Really sorry, I know I rambled on, but we have officially created half of our shape. 
So I've got the selection tool, shortcut key V. I'm gonna just select this shape. Let's fill it in with a black. And then now I'm gonna click it and hold option and then drag it out to the right, hold shift to keep it in line. I'm just gonna let go. It's just out here in a random spot. Right click on this guy now and go down to transform reflect. And that's gonna bring up the reflect transform panel. You do horizontal, which means for reflecting over the horizontal axis, which would actually flip it kind of vertical. Um, or we can do vertical here and you can hit the preview button to see what happens. That's exactly what we want to happen. We want to flip it so it's on that right side instead of the left. I'm going to hit OK. And now I'm just going to click and drag this with shift until it locks in with that shape. Until those two intersect. And let's go ahead and select both of these and get rid of the stroke because that's kind of screwing up the points down at the bottom a little bit. Get rid of the stroke. Now I'm going to drag this out again, hold shift, and I'm going to drag it back just to make sure it really snaps into place. There we go. That looks pretty good. I think our head here is a little off, but guess what? We can still change that. Let's select both of these with the selection tool, uh, shortcut key V, and then I'm going to select both, or I can hold shift and click on both. And I'm going to open up the Pathfinder panel. It's shift command F9. It's also hanging out over here in your toolbars to the right. And I'm going to hit merge, or actually unite. Unite is going to just merge all of this together into one shape. That's exactly what I wanted. Now I actually have, if I zoom in here, I have all these points. All these anchor points are all together. We have one whole shape. I think that this, the head here is like a little pointy for me. So I'm going to go back to my direct selection tool. I'm going to select the head here. And I'm just going to drop it down with a couple arrow key clicks. And from there, I also think that this head is super wide. So I'm going to select these three points, and we're just going to bump it over maybe one, two, three. Uh, we'll go four, five. Uh, that was just arrow key clicks. And we're going to grab this one as well, these three points. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five the other way. And that kind of helps keep that head not so wide. It was a little wide. Um, I think we did it, you guys. So there's another thing you can do here if you feel like these are too pointy and you are updated with CC. You can click on your shape with the direct selection tool. And up in corners, you could just click maybe one pixel. And that will round all of these different points if you don't want it to be so pointy. And I think the ears, maybe one pixel is a little too much for them. So let's go to 0.5 pixels that helps it's still pointy but it's not as sharp of an angle now if you want to create exactly what I had just uh, grab your shape tool over here rectangle tool click and drag we're gonna create a background it's gonna be black at first that's okay I'm gonna change that to like a yellow color and then I'm gonna send that to the back by right clicking and going to arrange send to back there we are and let's click on this we'll shift click on that rectangle click on that rectangle we're aligned to a key object now I'm going to just center this guy up if he's not already. And maybe we'll just make him a little bit bigger by holding shift and option and using that selection tool up in the corner. There we go. Whew, that was long winded. I'm really sorry. I explained a lot in that tutorial. Just speed it up if that was too slow. Uh, you guys, um, this tutorial helped you learn the pen tool a little bit, or if it completely confused you, comment down below, send me some questions, some suggestions, whatever you want. Like this video, subscribe for more tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.